Are you someone who goes beyond being courteous and helpful at work? Do you routinely accept new projects even when you are already stretched too thin? If it describes you, you could have a tendency to please other people. Of course, being kind to other people is a good thing. However, there is a problem when this behavior compels you to ignore your emotions and accept more responsibility than you can bear. People-pleasing actions frequently pass for kindness and friendship, but regrettably, it might just be an illusion. Additionally, those who are people-pleasers frequently desire acceptance and respect, but doing so results in a lack of respect since you lose your control. Serving others out of love is one thing. Consistently putting their wants ahead of your own is quite another. People-pleasers are frequently adept at perceiving others' emotions. They are also typically compassionate and empathetic. These favorable traits could also be accompanied by negative self-perception or the need for control. When you're a people-pleaser, all of this effort to keep others happy may leave you feeling exhausted and worried, despite the fact that many may perceive you as a giver. In this video, we are going to present you with seven pro tips for stop being a people-pleaser, so you could stop putting others before your own well-being and ensure that you take care of your own needs. Number one, establish boundaries. People-pleasers frequently lack awareness of the limits they must establish in their own life. It's critical to be aware of your boundaries. List the behaviors that make you feel uncomfortable or used. Set them up firmly and then express them. Be precise about the responsibilities you're willing to accept. If someone seems to be requesting too much, inform them that their request falls outside the bounds of your ability to fulfill it. There are other strategies to establish boundaries to assist control your propensity for people-pleasing. To limit your ability to interact, you can only accept phone calls at specific times. You may also say that you can only be reached for a limited time. It guarantees that you are in charge of both what and when you are willing to do anything. Number two, say no kindly. When you say no, it's crucial to be firm and to refrain from offering an explanation. When you explain why you are unable to perform a task, you open the door for criticism. Alternatively, you can allow them to change their request so that you can still comply with it. When you say no to something, be firm without going into needless detail about your justification. Remember that the word no is a full sentence. The moment you start saying no, you'll have more time and energy to do what you really want to do you'll experience a greater sense of control over your life. You will feel less vulnerability to the needs of others. There is nothing more annoying than being taken advantage of. It also means that others will start abusing your kindness. Number three, start small. Making a big shift can be challenging. Therefore, it is simple to start by being assertive. It might be challenging to alter one's behavior patterns. You frequently need to retrain not only yourself, but also those around you so that they are aware of your boundaries. Because of this, it may be beneficial to start small and gradually become less of a people pleaser. Start with declining smaller requests or try voicing your opinion on something minor. Try declining a text request, then gradually advance to saying no in person. Practice in various places or circumstances, such as when interacting with coworkers or speaking with salespeople. You'll develop more confidence each time you make a modest step away from trying to please other people. It will enable you to regain control over your life. Number four, refrain from over-apologizing. By apologizing and being mindful of the other person's emotions, we think we are being incredibly kind Yet this is merely another example of people-pleasing. People-pleasers frequently apologize. Overcompensating with apologies may make you feel better, but it can come off as a little dishonest. It gives the impression that you were at fault when you didn't do anything wrong. It amounts to a declaration of guilt for a crime you didn't commit. Keep genuine repentance for the times you do something wrong. Throwing out a few apologies here, and there may seem less harmful, but it lessens the impact of genuine regret and places blame on you. When there's a lot of traffic and you're running late, say thanks for waiting for me, instead of I'm sorry I was delayed in traffic. 
Number 5. Respect your time. You need alone time for both your physical and mental health. Many people fear being alone because they fear growing lonely, bored, or anxious. These are all false beliefs derived from the hyper-connected world of modern culture. There is just yourself to please when you are by yourself. While you're enjoying some alone time, you don't have to worry about what other people will think of you. We can better comprehend our own needs, feelings, and thoughts by taking some time to ourselves. Finding out what makes us happy or miserable might also be aided by this. Knowing ourselves better is beneficial in a variety of ways. Spending time alone has several advantages, even if only for a short while each week. If you don't respect your time, others won't either. Number 6. Accept the truth. It is a bitter pill to swallow, but you have to accept the fact that not everyone will be pleased with you. Because everyone has unique demands, it is simple to understand that you cannot always please everyone. Someone may become angry or offended if you behave in a certain way to appease one person. Instead, make an effort to behave honestly so that those who like you for who you are will do the same. You will lose touch with who you are if you try to fit other people's expectations of you. You are only accountable to yourself. You have no control over how people behave or feel. You do yourself a disservice if you adjust your behaviors and responses to match theirs. Recognize the truths all around you. Number 7. Ask for help. The first step in overcoming people-pleasing is to ask for assistance. It won't be easy particularly if you are accustomed to being the go-to person for close ones. But rather than attempting to handle everything on your own, starting to ask for assistance is better for you and people around you. Understand that you are not alone. Ask for assistance from others rather than accepting every assignment that comes your way. Start by getting input from a close friend or spouse about how frequently they observe you doing too much in order to assist you understand that it is not as terrifying as you initially thought, they might also be able to provide a helpful perspective on how they feel when others say no to them. Finding strategies to create boundaries and reclaim your time is crucial if you find it tough to seek your own pleasure. Keep in mind that you cannot satisfy everyone. When you begin to actually value and appreciate yourself, you'll instantly cease acting out of fear. You won't feel the urge to impress others, and you'll give up looking for approval from them. You'll also begin to live a happier, healthier life. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to stay tuned to such helpful content. Thanks for watching.